<laughs> How's it going, everybody? Andy McCullough from the Kansas City Star here at City Field with Sam Bam Mellinger. We are here to talk about, well, we're going to talk about several things. We're going to yes. talk about what people will be saying tomorrow about what happened in tonight's Royals game. Okay. And we will also talk about what actually happened in tonight's Royals game. What would you like to start with? Uh, let's talk about... Wait, are those my two choices? Yeah, what or well, I mean, we, talk about? we could talk about you know poker or something if you want. Well, I think like people are gonna talk about. I think Noah Syndergaard, yeah, uh, you know, throwing the pitch and the Royals getting very upset. Which, like, all right. So I know you've got some thoughts. I've got some thoughts too. Mm -hmm. um, let's just start out with a couple. Um, I don't have a huge problem with what Noah Syndergaard agree. did. Strong agree. Um, I think that. Uh, the Royals have every right to be like upset. strong agree. Okay, strong agree. Um, I also think that the idea, though, that like, so he said after the game, like, I, I was trying to make them uncomfortable, and I think right. I did that. They scored three runs in the first two innings, so it was like maybe his his uncomfortableness, like it was a delayed reaction. Right. Like they would only get <laughs> they subsequently became uncomfortable like two innings later. Yeah, um, I don't know. It, it, it also seems like. <laughs> that the real problem in the game was that the Royal starting pitcher was terrible. Okay, so we veered into what actually happened. Oh, okay. Okay, okay so our, our great plan to do a binary <laughs> video has failed. That's all right. Damn it, sorry. No, it's okay. Okay. So, so just to, to piggyback on the Syndergaard stuff before we jump into yeah. the reason the Royals actually lost. Um, I think from Syndergaard's perspective, throwing up and in, is a strong idea you know it's a it's a very masculine thing to do you know baseball is all about masculinity uh this is my plate you know if you have a problem come fight me even though i'm not going to pitch for four more games etc etc um and then from the royals perspective uh, getting angry post game and saying that's unprofessional and we knew that was on purpose and all those sorts of things you know uh, that's understandable as well you know sure. it's a whole bonding thing and I said this on Twitter but you know in general like teams and fans think purpose pitches are great when your team does them and it's terrible when the other team does sure. them. and that's just basically how the whole thing works and yeah Syndergaard made them so uncomfortable that he gave up three runs in the first uh, few innings and he he gave up four runs in his first two starts this postseason, uh, and he gave up eight total hits in those two games. He yeah. gave up six hits and three runs in the first two innings. The Royals had him on the ropes. But, you know, the reason, I, and, and, I, and I do believe that sometimes starting pitching does affect the offense in terms of momentum and stuff, um, is that, you know, Ventura had nothing tonight. Jordano yeah. Ventura came out and just got his head kicked in. Um, and it's weird to see him throwing 93 miles an hour. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing that, you know, I don't know whether it's he was tired, whether he didn't feel great, you know, whether it was the cold, you know, or what. But he was sitting 93, 94. Uh, the pitch that David Wright got was, I think, 96, right hit it. But yeah. even 96 is on the low end for him. And that was at the beginning of the <clears throat> that game. That was the beginning of the game. A couple innings later, Curtis Granderson got 94. Yes. And 94. Right down when, the middle. Right down the middle when there's not much movement. And, yeah. and that is what actually happened in tonight's game. You're going to hear a lot tomorrow about how Noah Syndergaard set the tone for a Mets victory. Okay, I see where you're going. Yes, that is garbage. What actually happened was Jordano Ventura got his brains beat in yeah. because he was and, not making good pitches. And and it's a bad combination when you are uh, physically not there, right? which obviously with that fastball he's not, and then mentally Oof. just checked out too. And, and not just like, there were times like, I mean, this is a little bit of nitpicking, but that David Wright uh, home run that you just mm -hmm. talked about what, it was the sixth pitch of the game, and mm -hmm. they were all fastballs. Right. So David Wright's not a great fastball hitter at this point in his career. But when you know, it's, when coming, you know it's coming. Yeah, and that was yeah. something that, that, that Cosmer spoke to post-game, yes. was just if you know that fastball's coming, yes. you can cover it. Yes, and, and that's why that curveball is so important from, yeah. from Jordano. And then uh, hanging that 0-2 curveball to Syndergaard oh, um, over the Brutal. middle of the plate. And then, Which, you know, just to pause real sure. quick, if the Royals had a problem, with Noah Syndergaard, we're playing in the National League. <laughs> yes. He's got to grab a bat. <laughs> that's, if, that's a time to do it. You right? know, if you want to, you know, send another purpose pitch of your own, he's literally standing there, sixty feet six inches away. That's so, like he mentioned, I mean, and yeah. that's and that's why, like, you know, I, th I find the Royals' rhetoric understandable, but just rhetoric. Yes. You know, yep. 
Um, and then obviously Ventura, you know, neglecting to cover first base. It didn't end up costing the team any sort of run because a run would have scored, scored there anyway. either way, and Danny Duffy was able to get them out of it. But it was emblematic of the sort of just, you know, Yo said it. He lost his focus. He lost. He was flustered, and it's yeah. like, just this, froze. The, this yep. is the World Series. Yep. I mean, this is the this is the World Series. This is why you come to the ballpark in February. Yeah. You know, to be, and so to lose focus in a game like that, it's it's. I mean, this year has been so strange, you know, for for trying to figure out what's going on with Giordano Ventura, <laughs> and this is just yeah. a nice, um, you know, a nice. Maybe it is the final chapter, one of the final chapters. I don't know. Yeah, strange. Probably go seven and give up one in game seven. Right. That far and that would be <laughs> right. Completely like him. Right. Right. Maybe, yeah. 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 Maybe he'll throw the first pitch at Kurt Granderson's head. There we head. go. And Noah Syndergaard will be. I don't get know. Get him uncomfortable. Baseball is so dumb. <laughs> uh, thanks, but please read the coverage. <laughs> Uh, at the page of the Kansas City Star, KansasCity.com, and on our True Blue app. Have a good night.